What's up, everybody? It's your man, j Phil, and there's been something on my radar for a minute, and it's called Rip X by Hit and Mix, who happen to be the sponsors of today's video. We're going to go through it. I'm going to give my honest opinion. They have no say on what I'm going to say, but let's see if this is something for you. So let's get into it. <laughs> What is Rip X? It actually has three modules. We're going to only talk about two of them. And basically what it's surrounding is stem separation. Okay, so we're going to talk about Deep Remix and then Deep Create. So Deep Remix is basically separating your stems and Deep Create is a way to like resample things. So basically this is our interface. We'll start with the left. You have your rips, which is basically your songs or whatever you pull in to this guy, right? Your layers is gonna be like another name for tracks, I believe. And as you can see, cymbal, drums, guitar, hi-hat, all this stuff, right? Your interactive help, so that's basically, you know, self-explanatory. You click on that and it shows the information that you need, whatever question that you have, all right? Inputs. So if I wanna record my microphone, you know, you just go in like I use the Scarlett, I would click on that. You have your instrument, your plugins, and all my inputs right there, pretty simple. On the right hand side, you have basically your processing. So, you know, effects and things of that nature. Your levels, that's kind of like their way of EQ, you know, gates, compression, all that stuff. You have presets, which is cool, and also sounds. So this thing has its own sounds as well. So let's go ahead and drag in a song so I can show y'all the quality of the stem separation. So I'm gonna take a song, shout out to Najee Soul. And when you drag a song, whatever you have, this is gonna pop up and then it's gonna ask you what to rip. And I'm gonna just leave all these checked. Now you could just save the stems only and that way you can put it in your DAW if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna hit rip and it takes about a minute it says as you can see it loading up okay so let's open up the layers now you see all these colors and clusters this is basically the visual representation of each layer or track all right so we got voice here and let's let's listen to it Now, what you're hearing is everything that's separated playing together. So let me see if I could create a loop. Can I do that? Just dragging this line here. Okay, so I just click on whatever track that I want, and then you'll see the highlighted version of whatever I play. And then I can actually solo each sound. So let's listen. <laughs> Now this is a sample, so it's gonna kinda, you know, figure out or analyze what it thinks it should be playing. <laughs> so let's let's hear some more. Let's try the kick drum. Did it get that? It did. Okay. What else? Drums. Only got one thing, which was a hi-hat. Let's do percussion. Okay, here we go. All right, so now notice it has the BPM, which actually is really half of that. So I guess it depends on the track. It really should be around 84, because <laughs> I know what this track is. So that might be a little discrepancy, I don't know. I mean, but you know, that's not a big deal. You know, multiply by two is basically the same thing. It's just double time. Let's listen to the bass by itself. Boom. Okay. Now you see how you can see each of these notes. I can move these around and do whatever I want, you know? You could use this as if it's like MIDI. You treat it like, it's like a combination of MIDI and audio at the same time, basically. Let's go back to the vocal. Beautiful, it's what you are, more than I can see. 
So this is a way for you to create acapellas if you want to, or, you know, if you're doing some type of karaoke thing, you can mute out the vocals and just have the music by itself. Go to master and just mute out the vocal. Right? So that's a great way to just do your remixes right there. If you wanted to do a acapella, you just do the opposite. Just solo the vocal or just mute the instruments. Or let's say I wanted to mute the drums and have everything else in and then maybe later down the line add in my own drums. So you could do something like this. Mute the drums and the percussion and the kick drum. Do something like that. Now let's get a little deeper. Let's go ahead and solo the bass, right? And say we want to change that bass sound. You go over here to the right and then you see how you have different sounds. You have virtual instruments. I can change the sound, but just by using this little, <laughs> using my cursor and moving it over to the right and it shows the percentage of how much that sound is going to be played or heard. So let's say I wanted to use, um, let's say, okay, here we go. This bass instead, let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so in order to change it, I believe I have to highlight it. Just using my mouse to drag it. blend it that way or just have it just a little bit or just choose a different sound let's try this let's pause or maybe a stratocaster synthetic Let's see, virtual instruments. Let's try this grandma rimba. Why would I do that? I have no idea. I'm just saying, I'm just trying it. <laughs> All right, you hit enter to go ahead and commit to it. Then you can play everything back together. Now there's no way that I would really do that for real. I'm just showing y'all what you could do. <laughs> Let's say we want to affect those vocals by itself. Boom, right? Hold on. I just added delay on this one part. So I'm literally processing this audio in real time. So that's just a quick example of what you could do. Also, you have on the bottom, you could set the musical scale. And by default, it's going to be on chromatic, but I can change this to maybe a harmonic minor and see what happens. <laughs> so it's changing the notes within that scale, if that makes sense. Now, let's say I wanted to add something else to this. So I would go to my layers and I could add maybe a... Uh, another bass and then what I'll do is go over to my right go to sounds and hit this little plus sign which means I can use my own VSTs just make sure it's a VST 3 so I can choose something that I have like my own bass 
Actually, I wanted to use modal base too. RipX would like to access files in your desktop folder, so hit OK. You can name the instrument. We'll just say modal base 2. This is going to be a pitched instrument, so we'll leave it there. And this is talking about it's going to sample the notes for you. So from C2 to B5, and you just hit import. So now it's importing that sound then I'll be able to record that. Okay, so now it's here. So I can literally record and just see what happens. Hit record. Alright, just as an example, let's play that with everything else and mute the bass that's in there and we'll just play what I just recorded. But you are more than I can see. Beautiful. It's what you are. I can actually use a pencil to draw in sounds too. See that? I'm just hitting the control click. Draw a pitch. So I could just draw in a note. Maybe do another one. Do two notes. See how I just did my own thing? So that's just a quick example of what you could do. Now I will say that seems to be a little glitchy. <laughs> but uh let's go back to the drums. Let's see if we could replace the drums. So let's solo. Okay, this snare right here, if we wanted to, we could replace it. Go to the right. And let's see, let's select it. Just these two notes. Let's see what that sounds like. And now it's changed. See? Just the ones I highlighted has changed, but if I wanted to change all of them, I would highlight all the snares. But I'm just doing these two. Oh, by the way, this is a volume for each. So it's kind of like your bootleg mixer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, so say you happy with that, you know, for the sake of this video, and you want to export it, you can. You just go to File, Export. Look at these options. Okay, so what we want to do is MP3. Let's say MP3. The files that we're going to create, they're going to be separate layers. So we'll see. We'll see. That might be a little confusing, but let's see what happens. So we'll export this. Maybe put this to a desktop so we can find it easily, or just Documents. Go ahead and export. And here it is. Bass by itself. Guitar. More drums and percussion. Voice. Notice it has that new delay in there, so. So guys, that's a great way to create your own sample packs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just saying. So here are my thoughts. On one hand, I think it's very useful if you want to separate stems, it's very, very useful. You know, the AI, I think is pretty high quality in my opinion. I think it could be a little bit better depending on the mix and that might have to do with the mix, whatever song you choose. So that might not be on rip x it might have to depend on the mix the other thing is they're considering this a doll at the same time for me personally i probably would not use this as a doll i would like to use this as a sound design tool and then take all my stems and put it inside my doll of choice 
So I think this is great for sound design purposes. That's my honest opinion. Y'all let me know what you think. You can try it for free. That's a good thing. You can try this. I believe it's 21 days. You can try it for free. So I will leave a link down below. If you are interested, y'all let me know your thoughts, what y'all think about this. You know, AI is blowing up more and more and more. And technology is it's no excuse for people. It's your man, Jay Field. I'm sending peace and positive energy.